Hey, good morning, guys. Sasha coming at you. Monday, June 30th, just coming up to uh, 8.30 in the morning. And we're out in the garage after taking a uh, few days off. Actually, was in Ottawa, Ontario, uh, doing a little business and uh, mixed with a little bit of pleasure. Got an invite from the uh, Ottawa Valley Triumph Club to go on their uh, 25th anniversary uh, run and barbecue. So I'll tag a little bit of that video on uh, after this intro. I got some video of the cars arriving at uh, the barbecue location. So uh, anyway, we're back out in the garage today. It's going to be a hot one. It's supposed to be 29 degrees Celsius and fairly high humidity. So we're looking at uh, some thunder shower possibly uh, this afternoon. So uh, I'll have to keep an eye out for that. But uh, yeah, it'll be a hot one. It'll be upwards of uh, 85 to 90 degrees today in the garage Fahrenheit. So it'll be a warm one. Anyway, we're back out uh, working on the uh, front valence. And uh, we left off, I just uh, sprayed a bit of etch primer on some of the uh, bare metal spots that I'd sanded through to. Uh, fixed that uh, one cage nut and this flange, uh, if you recall. And uh, was working on these areas back in here that I wasn't happy with. There were some uh, sags in the, uh, had uh, used a polyester primer and there were some sags in this area. So we've got that fixed up and uh, respayed with a little bit more high build primer. I do have a low spot here to fix and I'll probably work on that first to get that out of the way. But other than that it's looking not too bad so uh, hopefully we'll be able to get this possibly into the paint before the end of the day. There's a few areas I need to clean up, you know, some rough uh, areas here, some body work. Maybe try to fix this, uh, there's a little bit of a channel here that I filled up with some Bondo so I maybe try to fix that up and redefine that, uh, that area. And there's a little ridge here with some filler that I've got to clean up. So just uh, it's a little messy on my bodywork or my cleanup uh, when I did this initially uh, quite a while ago now. So that's where we're at. Um, we'll give you some updates along the way. And we'll talk to you later. How you doing? guys, just Tosh coming back at you. It's about 20 to 3, just a quick update. So we've got the, uh, I don't know if you can see that very well, but uh, we've got the apron uh, done down to uh, 400 grit dry. And uh, we're just getting ready to shoot the base coat. So what I've done is I've, uh, I've hung it from the, uh, from the ceiling and we've tied it off down the bottom. 
and we're going to spray both sides today. Thought it'd be easiest to do uh, to hang this panel and spray it versus doing you know one side first and the other side. I wouldn't have to mask it off this way. So anyway, hopefully this works okay. It's uh, freaking hot in the garage. It's uh, well, getting up to close to 85. So uh, anyway. We'll uh, wipe this down and we'll get ready to paint and hopefully the next time we come back we'll be ready. Talk to you later guys. So just coming up to quarter after five and the uh, base coat is done and we're going to move on to the clear coat. So everything's looking good so far. Uh, no problems that I can see. So we'll uh, move on to the uh, clear coat. Hey Talk guys, to you later. a uh, quick update for you. It's just coming up to uh, eight o'clock at night and uh, the uh, front apron, valence, whatever you want to call it, is now painted. Uh, it's not too bad. There are a few runs in it, which I'll have to sand out, but uh, I did it uh, front and back. Um, obviously the back is less important than the front. Don't even think I have any runs on the back, but uh, anyway, I got a few runs, uh, one here in the center, and I got a little bit of a runnage here on this edge. so. We'll have to make sure we sand those out. But other than that, it's not too bad. We'll have to have a better look at it once uh, once I cut it down. Um, we're going to probably leave it up here overnight. And uh, we'll cut it down tomorrow once it's nice and dry. And then we'll let it sit for a day or two. And then we'll uh, we'll get out here and we'll, uh, we'll get the wet sanding and buffing. So that's it for tonight, guys. We'll uh, get out here and we'll start... Uh, Prepping the tub, I think, and getting that ready for paint. So that's the next thing to go. There are a bunch of uh, smaller bits and pieces I've got to do, like the hinges, and uh, there's some cross braces for the uh, for the trunk. I've got some, uh, you know, the engine, uh, the bonnet uh, prop rod, the trunk prop rod, a few other things. So there's a, there's a bunch of little bits to do as well, but for the most part, all the panels are all done now. Just the body tub left and those other little piddly bits. All right, we'll talk to you guys later.